What's up everybody, my name is Dew Splash and welcome back to our Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. I hope y'all are having a great day and in today's episode we're going to be expanding the base. For any of you who watched the last episode you'll remember towards the end we actually set up this little map here and I wasn't too happy with our little setup. I actually want to build more of the base in this kind of area so it looks it's so just it looks better and we do need some more buildings around. So one of the things we are going to be building is a horse stable. And I'm thinking to put it roughly about right here or maybe like up here I'll like clear out this layer of dirt and put it on this layer but I think this is going to be a good spot for it. However, you can't have horse stables without a horse so we need to tame one of these and I don't, I don't know if I like how this one looks but he's going to have to do for now. That was really easy. I only had to get on twice and we already have a horse. Look at that. See, can he jump high? Eh, not really but oh, he's slow. He's very slow. Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is the one we're going to keep. Here we go. We have some pure brown stallions over here. Let's try these out. Okay, so I got this one. This one's not bad. It doesn't have as many hearts, but it can definitely jump a lot higher. And it's pretty quick, or a lot quicker than the other one. So this is our winner. However, for aesthetic purposes, I probably will put more than one horse in the stable just because I don't want to just make a stable for one horse because I feel like why <laughs> so we're gonna have maybe like three or four spots just for like other horses alrighty so I've already cleared out an area and I'm thinking that we're gonna have about three to four like horse stables uh, in the actual building itself and I know they need about a oh this is this is too small no this is right I think about a a two by three space I think this is big enough for them to stand in we might just do three so we'll do three on one side just like that and I'm gonna have to make some more fence gates. So it's gonna be something kind of like this. And I'm thinking to just do like a simple little, like it's just like a small little shed with a simple little roof over it. Alrighty, and here it is. Simple little shed. I was thinking of making something a little bit bigger, but I kind of like how this looks. It's very small. And the roof, I'm kind of iffy on it. I don't know how I feel. I did have to make this a little bit longer so the roof wouldn't look as weird. But if we take our horse over here and run them along in here, they actually fit in here pretty nice. That's plenty of space for them, so I kind of like how that looks. We gotta get the other guy in there. I'll probably put like some hay bales, just like as decorations and stuff like that. And I'm gonna have to make the pathway kind of like curve around from over there. Around these trees and make it come up here. Look how cool our farm looks when it's fully grown. That's so freaking dope. I've been trying my best to, to breed these animals as often as possible. And same thing with the sheep, but I'm a little bit hesitant on breeding them because... I know if I keep breeding them, they're just going to eat this grass. As you can see, they've already eaten like almost half of it. Maybe not almost half of it, but they've eaten a lot of it. And if there's too many, that grass is never going to grow back. So I might just keep that amount and just shear them. And that's probably what I'm going to end up doing with those guys. And for those of you who haven't realized, I actually made myself some diamond tools. Made myself a diamond pick and a sword. I did find more diamonds off camera. And I do have five left. So we're going to go down to the mines. I'm going to take my water bucket with me. I'm going to dump some of this stuff off. We're going to go down there, find some obsidian. I guess we can find some enough for another portal also. Um, but mainly we need an enchantment table. And we can make ourselves a little enchantment table. My strip mine does finally reach the bottom. I do have to raise the roof one higher because I can't run down my stairs. That's why I only did one half of it. But I think I ran into a cave down here and that's how I found the diamonds. I honestly don't remember. Yeah, here we go. Just right down the strip mine right here is actually where I found them. Oh my goodness. You gotta be joking me. <laughs> no way. I didn't explore like the whole lava pit earlier. That's actually perfect. And we have ourselves three more diamonds just like that. That's insane. I swear. I didn't plant those there. It looked like it was set up, but it was not. Alrighty, that's one piece of obsidian down. 16, about more to go. Okay, we got all the obsidian we need. We need 14. 16 was not the number. I'm clearly bad at quick math. I'm really curious as to if I miss any more diamonds, but I don't think so. So we're just going to go back to the surface and build our enchantment table. Alrighty, so we have our diamonds. Let's go ahead and put them down. Let's put our book in the middle and our obsidian and boom we got our first enchanting table now I don't know where to put the oh well hello you're on my property sir how are you gonna shoot me 
I love how he just withdraws and just. <laughs> Ow! You gotta die. I can test on my diamond sword. Ow! I freaking grass. Who put that grass there? Anyways, as I was saying, we need somewhere to put this, so that means we're just gonna have to build another little area for it, which I don't mind doing at all. And I'm gonna take these bones and hopefully those trees I planted earlier grew. That's kind of why I went to go mining instead of showing you guys the pathway. Because I was kind of hoping they would have grown by now. And I, I did put the hay bales there, as you can see. It freaking connected, but it's whatever. That's okay. And they all didn't grow yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to bone meal that one. There we go. I think this pathway looks nice. It has a nice little curve to it. I can't wait to see what it looks like on the map. I'm going to wait. Until all the trees are planted around it, because I feel like it'll look a lot more cool if you see the trees planted around it on the map. So we're going to wait to look at that. So while we wait for our trees to grow, I just had a brilliant idea. I was trying to think of somewhere to put the enchantment table and nether portal, but I know exactly where we could put the nether portal. We can continue our pathway, kind of curve it around, you know, the landscape right here, have it go up right here. And we can just put it like on a little platform right here, the nether portal. I'll put the enchantment table somewhere else. But the nether portal we can put on a cool little platform right here. So I think that's what we're going to work on. And now I know I don't have enough obsidian for the like the full portal. I have like the corners that are going to be missing. So I'm going to have to go back down to the mines and uh, oh, my shovel broke. I'm going to have to go back down to the mines and get some more obsidian. Honestly, as I was down there mining, I don't even know where we would put the enchantment table plus we don't even have the books nor like the resources to get that many books for an enchantment table so we're gonna have to hold off on on that idea for for a little bit unless we can get some spicy trades up with one of the villagers which is probably something that we're gonna have to do okay so i know i want the nether portal to sit on top of that but i kind of want to put like a circle platform or a circular platform around it so let's just put these down so I know that's going to be another portal. Just like that. And then we just got to kind of fill out around it. And I think we just take slabs and just kind of go around the perimeter like this. And I think this is going to look good. Oh, perfect. I had just the right amount. You know, I don't think that looks bad. It's better than just kind of putting it on the ground. Okay. The last official block. We take our flint and steel. Uh, let me finish the pathway. It has to be, it has to be perfect. Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, and three, two, boom. Ta-da! Another portal. It looks amazing. So, got a little carried away. Continued doing my little spruce and oak fence. Kind of like wall block around it. I, read, I made these like too high because I wanted to make the leaves too high. I just ran out of leaves. I think that'll make this look a bit more enclosed than how it was before. And that's the kind of look I want to go for with this area. So... I'll work on that later, but I did finish the rest of the pathway as you can see. I did continue uh, with the same fencing along the way. I only stopped to about right here. I don't know that I'm going to continue it all the way, but I know it looks good right here. I grew some trees over here too, and I think it looks good overall. So now we can officially go look at our map and see how this looks. Okay, moment of truth. We're going to... Oh, shoot. Okay, so this one goes there, and that one goes there. Hey, that looks a lot better. Oh, you can see the hay bales, the little nuggets. And that looks like a coin, actually. That's kind of cool. That's so dope. I like how this looks, like the whole like curvature of it. Oh, yeah. That's freaking dope. However, that's going to be all the time we have for today's episode. Sorry, I haven't uploaded over the past couple of days. I had some things going on, but I should have more free time now to continue on our upload schedule as usual. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can know when I upload these videos. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.